Ruler School is brought to you by Happy Little Hug Factory and these amazing patrons. Extra special thank you to guest lecturer patrons Brody Harris and Lance Albertson. Thank you for your support. Enjoy the video. Hey there everyone, DMO73 here, bringing you the deck list for the blue, black, Rhea discard list. Uh, I should preface that this list um, was kind of a challenge given to me by my friend Paul, who does the tournament reports. We kind of challenged each other to deck build. Uh, he wanted me to build a Rhea discard deck with no green, and having the only blue card that I use be really this Aramon the Wicked Spirit Eye for that whole like being able to peek at your opponent's hand. So keep in mind that this deck was built around that challenge. Still a lot of fun. Definitely think you can obviously improve it with the introduction of other water cards, um, potentially, or other light cards are adding in a third color, even potential. Um, but this is also, I think, maybe something that she could kind of convert into more as um, Lapis Cluster rotates, so just kind of take that with a grain of salt. So obviously Rhea, starting with the uh, three mystery counters and then flipping to be able to pick, you know, look at our opponent's card, hand, call a card, um, grant those extra mystery counters and use her to pop stuff. We're really just using those mystery counters to be able to make the discard really heavy and kind of lock our opponent's hand out um, or make the like uh, glint of insight plays. So wise we play uh, four dark depths, four murky waters, and uh, two remains of Ataraxia. We swap these around. Um, because we didn't want to be burning ourselves as much. And then going into the deck, we play three Baleful Avatar. Two drop makes your opponent discard stuff. Obviously, this card rotates, so that's unfortunate. Two Araman Malicious Eye. It's a two drop 6-6 six, six body that gets us mystery counters to help use for those other cards. Araman the Wicked Spirit Eye. Unfortunately, he rotates, but this was designed to be able to peek at our opponent's hand to make things like uh, Glint of Insight get everything every single time. Bloodsucking Butler for additional mystery counters as well as being able to generate more uh, and use them to ping off creatures that might be getting in the way. Blazer as a heavy hitter body that also lets us discard cards. Sword of the New Moon for hard removal. Sword of the Half Moon for repeated removal. Four Thought for Control. Four Glint of Insight for a lot of discard. Four Time Reversal for more draw power uh, as well as being able to generate mystery counters and potentially do some untapped shenanigans. Uh, three Blood Spray for draw power and removal, and then three Spider Web for recursion, removal, um, kind of whatever we need it to be. So there you have it, guys. I know this is a pretty quick deck profile, but again, this was a kind of a challenge idea deck. Super fun. Um, definitely recommend kind of giving it a shot, especially at locals, if you want to just make your opponent play at zero cards. Um, just watch out for decks like Guild that can just search infinitely, but it is a lot of fun. Let me know what you guys think in the comment sections down below or what you would do different. And be sure to hit that subscribe and bell down in the description so you can be notified and emailed whenever a new video goes live. And until then, until next time, this is DMO73 signing off.